Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading and it's a pretty big week coming up. We have the full moon in Virgo, your fellow Earth sign on the 7th, plus also Saturn, one of the big outer planets, moves sign into Pisces. So hmm, this could be re-establishing new boundaries, new directions when it comes to work. Something could be maturing in your life and we find yourself at a crossroads here with the Four of Swords. So we're starting at a crossroads. Where to next is the question. So let's see what else is coming through for you, Taurus. So it might even feel a little bit isolating, this Four of Swords. Um, but let's see, we've got the Temperance. Okay, it's saying patience with Temperance, calm. Um, things it might feel like there's some intangible things that um, you know Pisces represents intangible energy like uh, formless oneness creativity uh, it can be love compassion forgiveness and Saturn wants to come in and create form bring rules bring structures around that so it can be actually really great for manifesting and, and making things making uh, creative works in your life uh, but it just possibly is going to feel very different so this temperance energy is you know how can you make things flow some energy flow where it felt like it's at a crossroads at this moment in time and it's saying it may feel strangely intangible but there is this opportunity to just give it a bit of time and patience to bring in um, this sense of um, harmony that is coming through with it with the temperance energy so the fool okay and where we're going next is we're activating and stepping into something new interestingly this is iris of the rainbow so while you're here contemplating in your conscious mind this she's the messenger of the god she sends messages through the rainbows so again it's this sense of getting these intangible messages and going okay conscious mind how am I processing this where are we going next and then it's kind of like where we're going next is this we're taking a leap of faith we're stepping into the unknown we're resetting something activating something really new the fool is jumping off the cliff childlike energy doesn't know where it's going to land but just knows it has to do this we've got the seven of pentacles so this is a Taurus energy you can see the queen with the bull around her leg she's the Taurus queen she's offering Daedalus uh there's something on offer here, but it's a choice between staying in a comfort zone and, you know, happily kind of sticking with that or moving beyond that into something that is, you know is going to bring growth, but there's no guarantees of where that's going to land. So interesting. And we have the Nine of Cups. So there could be actually some really great, a really great offer that comes towards you, a new offer that comes in this new direction. And we have at the base the Six of Swords being able to move on. This is transitioning, moving on, making a move, traveling. It's all of these things, finding peace, moving to calmer waters, which is really lovely. So the fool takes a leap of faith, is thinking, this is Daedalus here going, am I going to accept this offer from the Taurus queen here? Uh, because it's an exciting offer and it could feel like it's coming with blessings because this is Aphrodite, the goddess of love, blessing a relationship. So it could feel like this offer is something that could be really bring blessings for not only you, but perhaps somebody else in your life as well. So it feels, you know, it kind of almost feels like it comes out of the blue. This is very barren space here where it's like a crossroads and then you end up in this really kind of interesting adventure full of potential and offers and blessings and it's like, whoa, how did I move from the Four of Swords to the Nine of Cups? Uh, see, they're very, very different energies here. So this is what the Six of Swords is doing, moving on, finding peace, creating forgiveness, moving on from dramas, the turmoil and um, finding peace with a situation. So yes, I think that trust these intangible energies, the intangible messages coming in from Iris, it's saying that things can flow. We can see the water starting to flow where there's no water around, it's barren. So this could be the feeling starting to flow or the intuition starting to flow or the creativity starting to flow. It's something starting to flow in your life here, but it's almost like having to trust that intangible energy. So let's pull an affirmation card. So again, it's like creating form. 
when there's been something intangible and it's like new, something new is coming in that this is happening, it's creating some kind of new opportunity or new form here with the Seven of Pentacles that can bring blessings. So, yeah, wow. Let's have a look at what's your affirmation card. It says, I trust my inner wisdom. Okay, that's what this is going to be doing here, trusting the inner wisdom that you're about to take this leap of faith even though there's unknowns and uncertainty. It's just about trusting your instinct here with this. Okay, as I go about my daily affairs, I listen to my own guidance. My intuition is always on my side. I trust it to be there at all times. I am safe. So yes, really trust your intuition. That's exactly what you're doing. It's like the temperance card is your intuition. It's this intangible messages that are coming to you. And so trust that and trust that when you do take activate this new energy or this new offer that comes in or new opportunity that's coming your way that's associated with blessings, trust that your intuition is giving you the right messages. So that's your reading for the week, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments. Love it if you could check out the new Patreon community that we are building. It's a beautiful community. Lots of premium content in there. Astrology updates. There's healing, live healings. There's access to extendeds. There's tutorials. There's a lot in there. So love it if you could check that out. The link is in the description box below as well. And yeah, take care, Taurus.